The Lawrence Welk Show. show, especially selected for public television by America's favorite music man, your host, Lawrence Welk. Friends, tonight we're paying tribute to a man who is not only a great composer, but also a great American, one who has often expressed his great love for this country in his beautiful, beautiful music. And of course, I'm speaking of Irving Berlin. And let's look at our 1973 birthday tribute when we open our show with one of our greatest hits, There's No Business Like Show Business. <laughs> this evening. Greetings, my friends. We're paying tribute to a true genius of American music, Irvin Berlin. On May 11, Mr. Berlin celebrates his 85th birthday, and this is our happy birthday greeting. He came to the United States from Russia when he was five, and with only two years of formal education, became the most successful songwriter in history. You're looking at a photo of Irvin Berlin taken at the age of 13, about the time he started singing for pennies on the streets of New York. I'm sure you'll enjoy this program of Irv Berlin songs. So let's start with the band, I've Got My Love to Keep Me Warm. Thank you. 
love to give you one. Stella Gray Dentstone. Thank you so much, folks. I guess you could call the 20s Irvin Berlin's waltz period. He gave us such songs as What'll I Do All Alone, The Song Is Ended, and this all-time favorite song by lovely Norma Simmer and Jimmy Roberts. Remember? <laughs> remember that after Mr. Berlin saw the show back in 1973, he wrote us a beautiful, beautiful letter thanking us for playing his song. May I say the pleasure was all ours. Irving Berlin wrote many of his songs for some of the greatest stars of Broadway and Hollywood. Our own dancing star, Sissy and Bobby, recall one of his famous movie songs.
Not for just a day, not for just a year, but always. I'll be loving you. Berlin's songs have an ageless quality, and here's a good example. A song written in 1928, re revived by the great Tommy Dorsey band, ten years later, and it still has a wonderful sound today. Let's listen to Marie, featuring Barney Liddell on trombone and our fine trumpet section. Hello, I'm Norma Zimmer. Perhaps I'm better known as the Champagne Lady on the Lawrence Welk Show. Singing on his show was a dream come true. Ever since I began voice lessons when I was five, sang in the church choir as a teenager, and later with several nationally known choral groups, I had always wanted to sing semi-classical music with a major orchestra. Then one day in 1960, Mr. Welk asked me to sing a solo a song from his Songs of Faith album for his Thanksgiving show. From then on, my musical life was fulfilled. Join me in supporting this public television station, and our dreams for beautiful music will always come true. Thank you. Now Saturday, let's return watch your to our 1973 salute to Irving Berlin. And this next song could describe his whole life. Say it with music. And here's Arthur Duncan. Thank you. 
his thoughts in song and I think these next lyrics will give you an idea how much do I love you I'll tell you no lie how deep is the ocean how high is the sky Irvin Berlin is not only America's greatest songwriter, he is truly one of our greatest Americans. In 1942, he wrote, directed, and appeared in the show, This is the Army. With all the proceeds going to the Army Emergency Relief, over $10 million. In 1946, he wrote, Annie, Get Your Gun, one of the top musicals of all time. Here's a medley of songs from this wonderful show. George Cates conducts the orchestra. Come in, George.
Thank you, George and fellows. That was wonderful, wonderful. Our little Mexican senorita, Anna Connie, has just joined us when we taped the show back in 1973. And she was still learning American songs. But she does a fine job with this Berlin favorite. And here she is. It's a lovely day today. So whatever you want to do, you got a lovely day to do it in that's true. And I hope whatever you've got to do is something that can be done by two. For I really song with a good dance speed. We feature Myron Flaw, Neil LeVang, Russ Klein, and Bob Snail, and the song You Are Just In Love. <laughs> Berlin's great talent lies in his ability to write simple songs with lasting qualities. Here's one that proves this point, and we call on Dick Dale, Sandy, Gail, and Mary Lou. Harmony. 
catchy song that dates way back to the days of ragtime and the turkey trot. It makes a great number for Henry Cuesta in our rhythm section. Okay, fellas, let's go with everybody doing it. Thank you, folks. There's an old saying that cheese thrives on hardship. And I believe Urban Berlin is a perfect example of this. From his early years of poverty, he rose to a position as one of the most successful men of all time. Living proof of the advantages of our American way of life. His love of this country is best expressed in his greatest song, God Bless America, for which he received a Congressional Medal from President Eisenhower. All the royalties from this song have gone into a special fund for the benefit of the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts of America. The total earnings now amount to over half a million dollars. A wonderful example of good Americanism.
speak the loud right show on your public television station. Call the number on your screen and make your pledge of support. Thank you. Good night, good night, until we meet. That's great. You know, we've seen that picture of the young Lennon sisters, to see Arthur Duncan again, to see Norma and the fine uh, music that she created. That's Lawrence Welk, and that's the best that you're going to see because you're watching it on 6. And let me tell you, too, that we've got Andy Williams coming up. So if you like Lawrence Welk, you're going to love Andy Williams, and that's going to be in just a few minutes. But before we go back to that Andy Williams show, let me say this, that we're issuing a challenge of 50 of you to call in right now at the $40 level or more, because you know with $40 you get one of those trees, we want to get 50 people, we want to plant 50 trees, and we want to plant the idea in your mind that in addition to the ecology and the fine job that you're going to be doing in the, in the Pike National Forest next spring, you're going to enjoy the finest in programming anywhere. Why? Because you're right here on Channel 6, and you know what Channel 6 is capable of giving to you. But you can't do it if we don't get some folks to busy right now. We've got some great volunteers. It's a good Saturday night. It's a musical night. We've got Lawrence Welk. We've got Andy Williams. We need to put those folks to work right now. Get those phones ringing. And 50 of you, 50 people calling in right now is going to plant those trees that we need. Let me tell you one other thing. We're getting very close to that 2,000 mark. 2,000 new people calling in. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you right now. So as we get ready to go into it, let's hear from you. 